Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsasi, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Where last time we made this uh, fantastic armor, tested it out against ali uh, aliens. It does the job. Uh, but today we want to see how we can improve our network issues. Um, at the moment, it seems we are okay. Um, no, no train jams anywhere. Uh, we have some sitting here, but one thing that I noticed was that, especially on this station here, uh, we sometimes have problem. Uh, train leaving then waiting here another train uh, on the stations but actually also done with uh, fueling up and then the third train is sitting here at the back basically blocking this way down and this way up what i was thinking is maybe we can come up with a different design for the fuel loading uh, we have here this kind of uh, row row station where we come in and exit on the other side but if we would make that a terminus that might work better what we also should do is get rid of uh, these small stations in here so we can have uh, a main through line here on this level and we probably also need something going up somewhere um, so we can basically channel uh, the, the train um, travel on on those lines and and here you can see what i mean so let's see where we can add such a station maybe if we have the space here we could we could try um because this big square is largely empty so um, let's let's head uh, over there we can do that on foot we are fast enough and yeah these stations also all need rework and then maybe an, uh, an other thing that we can do is uh, having uh, the um, the loading stations basically not in the in the center where all the traffic goes through, but but more on the uh, outskirts of our uh, base, um, at least outskirts for now i mean as the as the base uh, expands this might actually change let's add this signal here this signal there and then let's have just sitting here those are for the fueling and then we need a bit of uh, unloading uh, loading I mean here and here so 
and here we need oh. here we need a long-handed inserter we can have two of those um, then I'm going this way I'm going that way on these ones we probably want to restrict the output and then here we can say a disable the stations if we have coal more than 1000 right then we need bit of power we can do that with the small power poles um, connect everything up here and then let's copy this station coal delivery and this station train fueling I think or at least I hope that should work out slightly uh, better um, especially if we can move them out here from the center we have one here that's pretty central and one down there that's also a bit in the way but i guess only only time will tell yeah first train arrived but uh, of course we don't yet have any any coal here um so we will have to wait and see how that works and in the meantime i can start working on moving more of uh, these small factories to proper setups uh, like we have here around and as experience has uh, taught me this is usually quite a, a lengthy pro process especially if we have chests full of uh, material uh, that we also have have to move and these large factories usually tend to be quite um, intense uh, and it comes to uh, the resources to building it we need quite a few inserters for it all right um i will see you either once i have an update for the train fueling station or we have made some progress with moving the factories I am back with a small update report and as you can see we still have train jams <coughs> and uh, as it was pointed out that's probably due to my signaling and I would agree um, I am when signaling I am a child of open TTD which has a few more than two types of signaling but we have the block signals there and we have the uh, pass signals there which in function are not exactly as the as the chain signals because the chain signal uh, they are looking ahead to the next signal to determine do I allow a train through or not and if the next chain signal uh, is also chain signal 
that gets propagated further and further until a non-trained signal or station is reached. Uh, however, in OpenTTD, the pass signals basically just look, uh, is the pass free to the next signal, independent of uh, which type, which leads to a bit less congestion, uh, I would say. But looking at the map, we have a whole setup for inserters now. Um, we have not a whole setup for uh, for belts, but I was able to rip out quite a few things down here. Also, some of the the smelting arrays, because if we cannot deliver enough uh, iron ore. We do not need that many iron or steel smelteries. So cleaning up here a bit. And then I think what we still want to do is um, these electric motors, they require the, um, the lubricant. So that should probably be somewhere close by here. Um, ideally, we want to have it in here. That would work. But for that, we need to finish off this copper ore field, which I think is not gonna happen that fast. Uh, but then we also have to move all of this. Um, for batteries we need sulfuric acid. For plastic we need uh, uh, petroleum gas. Uh, so those should probably also be uh, somewhat close to our refinement setup. And Probably what we could do is move the rails up here, the productivity modules up there. Um, we might even move that one Maybe we could move that one over to here and have this a bit better used then we could have for example batteries here um, and uh, the electric motors there plastic there and then we would have that out of the way and then we have to deal with um, find better places where we can have this refueling stations because they are currently a bit in the way and as you can see here they also are part of the problem of the the train uh, congestion so it's a bit more work to be done here and looking at, um, at our production uh, can also show you um, currently we are lacking on the iron front so that's why we basically are also stuck here uh, with materials that we need uh, for all our factories so what I could do is use this one a bit more to fill in a bit of uh, iron because you can see here the only missing thing is iron and inserters but inserted is, inserters are quite backed up while iron is is not so I will do a bit more work on that and then hopefully uh, we can see some real progress in freeing up space 
so that uh, we can have more of these uh, longer squares here without uh, the roundabouts because that then enables us to have uh, block signals uh, in between uh, so that uh, we have more train movements and not this uh, weird situations where trains are sitting somewhere and try to uh, reserve a pass that's uh, several that goes across half the base uh, and with that many trains that's that's really a problem uh, because uh, with trains moving so far they basically block a lot of other trains in their paths and that's not really what we want to see. All right, uh, let out the plan, so uh, let's get to it. I managed to clean out quite a bit. If we look at the map, uh, we can see we have moved batteries from down here to up here then plastics from here to there, uh, got rid of the fueling station and then basically moved the rails up there, uh, the productivity also up there and the furnaces, they are now here on this end. Uh, you notice we have one square open here, but that one will become important next time. So the last thing I want to actually move is this one, the electric motors, and that's uh, going in here. So what we need here is a two input station. Um, we do it that way and probably remove all that and that should be good enough. Uh, so let's copy these stations and here I think we need uh, motors and green circuits uh, in which twice as many green circuits as motors. Yes, that works. So we shall have green circuits here on this one and then the engines on here and we need pickup stations like this and then here we want to have that. So nice. And we will not manage to um, do this properly as uh, the coal field is in the way here. So basically we will only have this, uh, this upper portion uh, functional. Uh, but we will already set this up, but then enable uh, this thing. Right, 
and basically what we then want to have here is these ones they will need a bit of lubricants as uh, as input also need a few more in searches there and i think on here we can do it that way uh, on the top side it might be a bit more tricky it's there i think oh we can turn everything around and for the most part that should work yes oh here we are missing one connect this like so and out of materials but you get the gist how this is done so i will finish that and then next time we can see what we have been working uh our way towards uh, i'm very excited for it uh, 